It's not what you can buy with copper. It's what copper can do for your body that makes it so valuable. And one of the most copper-rich foods you can eat is the pear. Copper is an antioxidant, and antioxidants help protect the body against free radicals. I'd rather eat a pear than a penny any day of the week. Coming up, I'll make sweet roasted pears drizzled with pomegranate syrup. This is one of my favorite desserts, roasted pears drizzled with pomegranate syrup. It's sweet and juicy and crunchy and less than 200 calories per serving and very easy. Let me show you. You take a pear and slice it right in half. This is a beautiful ripe Bartlett pear. I like red skin pears when you can get them. You take out the seeds from the inside with a melon baller. Take a little bit off the back so it will sit flat in a baking dish. You want to bake these uncovered with some apple juice, and I've already done that for 15 minutes. I bake them face down so that they'll condense and the sweetness will caramelize. And this little bit of apple juice has softened the pears. And as they've cooled, they become ready for my favorite part, a tablespoon of dark honey in some granola. You mix the honey with the granola and you fill the pear. Then you place the pear back in the dish now pears are wonderful and the whole grains in granola give it a roundness and fillingness that a lot of desserts don't have. In fact, this dessert actually has four grams of fiber per serving. You put this back in the oven for six minutes until they're very tender and they look like this. You take a pear and put it right in the center. We're gonna drizzle this with pomegranate syrup. This pomegranate syrup has a little bit of honey added. If you can't find pomegranate syrup, just take a cup of pomegranate juice and simmer it for about five or six minutes until it coats the back of the spoon. That's what you want, just like that. So I'm gonna drizzle this around the pear and this is a really cool part, some dark chocolate covered ginger. You might not have heard of dark chocolate covered ginger, but it's wonderful and dark chocolate, unlike milk chocolate or white chocolate, actually helps to lower your blood pressure. Finally, some vanilla ice cream. Soy ice cream, lower in sugar, higher in protein, and without all the saturated fat that regular ice cream has. Doesn't that look great? This will really satisfy your sweet tooth. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chantani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John Lapuma. Dr. John LaPuma, professionally trained chef and internist, appears courtesy of ChefMD.com. Visit ChefMD online to learn more.